I am one of the school's quiet kid, and here's my story and experience, so let's get started with And also I've been trying to attempt it for so many times now recording, but seems like my voice is gonna get not have a straight line, so here we go, I'm gonna restart talking again. <laughs> now, my experience being a quiet kid starts in freshman year of high school, so as a new kid, in a private school, since I never actually attended private school before, only public school, it's kind of um, it's weird and strange how people react and stuff in public. So, because in public school, people are very cheerful and stuff here in the Philippines, but since I'm going to a private school, it always kind of the same, but the only problem is they are not really talkative. And now I'm not saying they're not really, I'm just the one who's not talking them. Let's just say they're talk like um higher ranks. So yeah, this kind of is pretty normal, right? So it's kind of strange for me talking to those kind of people, especially I'm not a rich kid, but still going to a private school. Thanks to my mothers. Yeah. Sorry mom. So okay. And here's my thing, I never really talk to any strangers, yeah, I mean, that's normal for someone, well, I, when my, when I actually went to my first day in high school, let's just say, I am very, very, um, shock. I didn't talk to anyone, yeah, I actually didn't talk to anyone to that. Well, I actually met one boy, and that his name is um, Adam, one of my friends in freshman year. Yes, my first friend was, I mean, not friend, friend, but yeah, he's a boy. Well, I'm actually used to talking to boys instead of talking to girls. Since I am not really have a thing with girls, because sometimes girls kind of, um, I'm not really... No offense to any girls right there, but yeah, Play, I mean, not playing, I mean, talking to boys is kind of fun too, but yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna just kind of start talking why I don't like talking to, to other people, and here's why. Back in, uh, let's say, elementary school, in the second grade, I had the one teacher that Hates my guts. I don't know why. Because every time that I talk, even if it's not loud, she would say, Fritzy, you are very loud. And yeah, I'm just a little girl, a seven year old kid, being, I mean, would be scolding by a teacher because I was too loud. And I want the reason why I'm no longer really talk anymore in hearing it. In my teenagers, in my teenager years, whatever we call it, but yeah, and that kind of stuck in my head in the freshman year, so I didn't talk too much. Well, I had classmates in high school that actually liked to call me stuff, but let's just say I just gave them a glare whatever time they talked to me because. Yeah, I don't really know how to react, and I don't really want to be friends with them. No, 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 they are very cringy as hell. That is, yeah, I'm not really, because in in my sixth grade of elementary, let's just say I stick with, this, with the cheesy girls in my classroom, cheeky girls, so... When, because I'm not that experienced, I no longer want to talk to any girl that is cheek, cheeky. So yeah, I don't because they just talk about boys sometimes. I'm not talking about all the girls talk boys and stuff. Like, I mean, their little thing. Because the other reason why I don't talk with them is because they're literally just 12 years old yet. They are going ahead and drinking. Yes, drinking in the age of club. So I don't want to be friends with any people who drinks. 
any of those in a legal age and I also want to get in trouble, etc. Because there are some rules in the Philippines are that are very, very strict. And I don't want to be in those rules, especially being, you know, I hope the thing, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to include about the rules here in the Philippines. Yeah, not only that, I talk weird in front of strangers. Whenever I'm buying stuff in the groceries, I always put that um shy talk. I, uh, some, I always volume my voice and talk and stuff. Yeah, and not also that, that I talk to strangers. Also, when I'm also talk like that whenever the teacher calls my name and read a paragraph. I always slow my voice because I cannot read that properly. And and as a person that can't really read much, it's kind of um embarrassing to be honest. So some some people still don't know how to read, and I'm one of them. So when if the teacher calls me to read a paragraph and uh, out loud, you all you're gonna just hear me um in a shy boys saying um the thing that ma- matters that uh yeah i talk like that if i ever read a paragraph loud and don't question me i some people don't, don't know how to speak properly and that's one of the reasons i don't really talk much it's because of my talking and reading i'm really bad at reading i as well just know how to read when i was in the fifth grade of Elementary, yes, fifth grade, actually fourth grade. There's what I have. In the fourth grade, it's the it's the thing that I actually start reading properly, because someone of well, somebody keeps actually getting mad because I don't actually read properly, etc. Yeah. So. Being someone who doesn't read actually kind of hurts because, because people are going to say, oh, you, don't, oh, you don't read and your parents are going to get called out because your daughter, your daughter cannot read and, and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I don't really want to talk to people, especially in being as to talk to someone. So whenever someone calls, calls me in real life I'll just give them a glare and ignore them even and if someone calls me that I'll just walk past them yes I'm very cold I'm actually one of those kids in school that is a very very cold yeah and you always give me the glare and whenever she's in her friends, her mood changes. Yes, I'm that big mood swinger, etc. So, so, yeah, that's one of my reasons why. And that's gonna be all because um, I don't really have more any more stories to tell. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my first story time video. So, bye. <laughs>